There's somebody in there with a knife, Whanau. At a New Zealand supermarket, a terror attack is taking place. Outside, a stunned shopper is broadcasting live. Inside, a violent extremist is stabbing people. Man, somebody got stabbed up and... A guard tries to move shoppers to safety. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, bro. But the attacker is known to police and has been followed. Within 60 seconds, he's shot dead. He stabbed this woman when she came out. I was going in. I went down to the other end. There was an old gentleman, European man, lying on the ground. He got stabbed up. An Islamic State sympathiser, we can't identify the attacker under New Zealand's laws, but the Sri Lankan national who went to a supermarket with a plan to kill had been on the radar of the country's security agencies since 2016. The individual was under constant monitoring and it was the police surveillance team and special tactics group who were part of that monitoring and surveillance that shot and killed him. This isn't the first time Jacinda Ardern has comforted her country after a terror attack. A white supremacist is serving life without parole for murdering 51 worshippers at two Christchurch mosques in 2019. Today, the Prime Minister was once again defiant in the face of hate. What happened today was despicable. It was hateful, it was wrong was carried out by an individual, not a faith, not a culture, not an ethnicity, but an individual person who was gripped by ideology that is not supported here by anyone or any community. How a known extremist was free to walk these streets is still to be explained. Once again, New Zealanders are on high alert. Once again, they're determined not to be divided by terror. Siobhan Robbins, Sky News.